like a, a few interactions and now it's gonna be jackal and leon see number two and three this is perfect this is when you you pat your to on the back say yep you did your job yep you you did good with your seating of this week's local congratulations uh straw man to you. yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, going into the matchup history between these two, for Jackal Leon, it is 11-18, Leon favored. Um, oh. Jackal did win their most recent one as a 3-0, but Damn. the past three before that 3-0 were all going to Leon. So, this could go either way, but obviously, a little bit of favor towards that Bowser here, so we'll see which way it goes. Yeah, this matchup can get messy. Like, the Spacey's problem against heavy characters that they'll decimate on. But the thing is, with Bowser not only being one, uh, the heaviest character, in the game, you just have so many ways to get those two frames with that four, with the four tilt, with so many of these different options that it makes it really difficult for these spaces in order to get these secure, these stocks and these really awkward situations. Got falling there into bear, but speaking of bear, it's gonna be jackals that connects instead. I have been watching so many fusions recently, and the amount of back air kills that jackal gets is insane. He is so good at the spacing on that. Always gets the proper spacing always gets the kill, and it's the difference of like 30% for that kind of kill. It's insane that he pulls it out as consistently as he does. Mm -hmm. And trying to chase it down there, but instead pushing Leon off. So instead of both of them, we're sitting back into this neutral game. Leon just looking for a stray bear, and there it goes. Both of the feet connecting to the skull. That's gonna be a stock taken. And now, Jackal needs to be a little careful, because all this damage Leon's taken, that, that's just standard. That's a standard tax that Leon knows that as Bowser you gotta take. But at the same time, taking any damage, as well, it's gonna be so dangerous, especially in these few interactions. Like, look at that command grab, 27 in a blink of an eye. Another one. Do it again. If for, if at first you succeed, do it again. It works again the second time. Uh, Bowser side B, an incredible move. Frame six command grab, I believe, faster than Damn. most standard grabs. One of the craziest moves in the game, which is why you've seen it come out three times and it's dealt a total of 84%. Mm. The grappler life is a life. People may not like it, but it is the one that you choose. But Jackal instead choosing to stay on the winner's side. Excellent stuff, cutting the recovery off. Are you too deep though? You are. That is really bad for Jackal. That gives Leon a really good opening. Obviously, Wolf can kill pretty effectively and pretty consistently, but Bowser is a menace. And most of the percent that you're gonna be given right now, that's just rage. You gotta work a lot harder to kill Bowser than he does to kill you. Any stray interaction could spell disaster for Jackal, and 65% is not a good look. Yeah, like all of a sudden, this is the first time Leon has been in the lead with these percentages, and look at this Jackal. Great combo sequence, though. Down smash, not gonna connect. So like I said earlier, this is just damage that Bowser is so used to taking, but now all of a sudden, Jackal needs to be careful about a falling Nair into a bear at this point. Now, there's so many dangerous options. Damn, good, this is the jab came out in time. Okay, barely getting around that get up attack with the back air. This is still anyone's game. The question is, can Jackal keep Leon at the ledge? That down smash getting dangerously close. Not quite gonna connect, and now the rolls are reversed. Ooh. That order though, that comes in, and you aren't expecting it, and Leon takes game one with it. It's deceptively fast, that fair. My goodness. And it's Leon, so quick. Yeah, just stole the game away. It was all Jackal until it wasn't. That, that's just kind of how this matchup works out with like the space season as well as like Bowser in general. All of a sudden you're like, yeah, you were winning, but then you made one mistake. Look at that huge mistake. Yeah, you think you got it. You think that good play will work out for you and you end up just going a little too short. And that's the difference that it made. Had Jackal not lost that stock there, that probably would have been pretty confident win for him, I think. Oh yeah. And now Jackal, not a, not a player. That's gonna let that just sway him from figuring this matchup out on there. And speaking of that, oh, look at that dash attack not connecting. Oh my goodness, it barely didn't. So all of a sudden, Jackal taking even more damage. And now Leon taking that center stage, knowing that, yeah, you can throw out all these lasers and such, but I'm gonna comfortably look back. And my goodness, the flame breath, not gonna connect, but instead it's gonna be the uppy in reaction. Jackal at 105. Oh, Leon is looking so good so far. Every now and again, you'll see a set where one thing happens and you watch the momentum of the entire set shift from one player to another. And right now, Leon is trying to make that Match. moment out of that back air SD, and that side B is going to help confirm it. Not even 100% on the Bowser. Jackal down a stock, down in games. You got to come back oh. into this game real quick, dude. 
Oh my goodness, and you're talking about momentum. Look at this, Leon firing in all cylinders. 66% once again, not caring about it. And yep, the upbeat, the old reliable, having a fast out of shield option with, for a heavy character is something that's usually a commodity. But at this point, Bowser, one of those characters that can afford to you know, stay on that shield game and excellent stuff on there. Threatening with another option as Jackal is trying to clean this stock up fast, but Leon does not care. Yeah, forward tilt, great option to throw out, but Bowser is heavy. You can get him with the second one though. That's a good catch there. 97% on the wolf, it's not impossible to come back from, but you gotta play really careful right now. Mm, and the down throw to get the maximum amount of percent. And these up these added reactions of the ledge option, I really like seeing it. Excellent recovery, Ooh. but there's too much lag, so you're gonna die after it. After all, you're gonna have to make a miracle happen at this point, Jackal. Tried to mix things up, tried to get around the flame breath with the side B by going high, but it's still reactable enough. And that is a really bad situation now. Leon still hasn't taken damage on this second stock. Jude oh, is about no. halfway it's through. He has need to take it home. Oh, what a way to go down. That is too... Oh, to Leon. Oh my goodness. Crazy to assume that in game number one, that momentum chef literally just spelled the end of the set with Leon getting that momentum and pushing on forward. And now we'll be sitting, we'll have to go against another big challenge, an even bigger challenge, I would argue, with uh, Syrup on that winner's size. We'll see how it goes on there. But here it is. It was looking all jackal. It was looking so damn good until it wasn't. Yeah. Like I said, every now and again, you'll see a set where it's one moment. And this is the moment that you're going to be looking back on. Great edge guard there. Gets back to ledge. Gets the back air. But yeah. just hits the uppy too early. That's what it was. The momentum of the double jump got canceled by the up B and it was just too short. And that's all that Leon needed to take the entire set. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking too. I was like, that jump did not go anywhere. And it looks like you just kind of jumped the gun too fast and Jackal just gets the stock taken. But the reaction times by Leon, really good by utilizing the up B and this was such a good option, but it was just too much lag after it. Yeah. I, it looked like a couple of times that Jackal could have brought it back, but no, Leon just took the momentum. And yeah, you never want to be fighting a Bowser with a stock lead because they will always go for that side B. They will always take you down with them. Yep, Leon getting the real good win in that set, kind of proofing why. You know, Leon's still a good player. Well, we're going to go ahead and look at this bracket. Plenty of updates, plenty of things to see because this is a stacked top eight after all. Yes, it is. So obviously, winners finals, we've got Pharaoh and Leon, as we've seen, of course. Um, we know that's coming up. They're selecting right now. I can hear in the background. Uh, be 